Hi guys and welcome back to World of Tanks and yeah a bit of a uh, silver earning trick. It can only be done once a day but let's uh, just get started because I've not left enough time on this bit and then we'll get into it. So improving grounds, go to your ops and obviously you'll have smell of victory on and then put both of the silver earning ops on that are in there and one of the XP ops. Pick your tank and then go on to Island Race. Now this has to be the first Proving Grounds thing that you've done that day. So that you've still got the uh, the the op with the present next to it. You know, the one that you can't take on or off. And, uh, yeah, you know, you've got to do this in a Tier 8 Premium to, to earn the sort of, uh, to earn the silver. Now, I've made a couple of mistakes on this one. But I've still used it just to show you that even though those things I've left on, you know, I can still earn quite a bit of money. I've chosen the Type 59, I've seen this done in the T95E2, uh, the Centennial is supposed to be good for this as well, uh, Motherland. And basically you want something with a bit of armour, uh, quickish, uh, decent rate of fire and you know, sort of reload aim time etc. Um, and I've just chosen to do it in the Type 90, uh, the, the, the Type 59. Now, when you come in at Tier 8, the guys that are with you, the AI, are all very very slow. And, uh, you know, the, the trick to this is basically keeping ahead of them, spotting everything yourself, doing as much damage as you can yourself, and try, basically trying to do all the damage and all the kills yourself by keeping ahead of your teammates. Now, something you should do before you come into this, which I haven't, is take off any premium consumables, like food item, um, and, uh, you know, that's going to take the money away, and also put all your ammunition as just standard. Just standard armor piercing and uh, oh cheap ammo cost is another one that's why you know uh, I wouldn't bother using anything that uses like APCR as standard and like I say it's got to be quick enough this one I wasn't quite quick enough because some of the stuff I came up against was it basically got more health than the stuff I did it on last time uh, and therefore I had to spend a bit more time killing it and uh, it gave the other guys a bit of time but like I say Proving grounds. Put both of the silver earning ops on, and one of the uh, the XP ones. And like I say, the trick is just well, it's just staying ahead of of, the, of your teammates. And uh, yeah, like I say, uh, don't forget to swap your camo out, your ammo out and take off your sort of premium consumables. Uh, I've been doing a bit of reading on this, and the average that people earn is about two thirty ish to, to sort of three hundred k. But, as some of you may have seen on Twitter, some people have been earning close to 500k. Not sure quite how they do it. Um, I've been through it a couple of times, put the ops on, and, you know, I've gained... Well, I've had more kills, more damage, and more blocked than, than some of the ones that I've seen with, like, sort of 400 and odd and, and 500k. Um, so, it might be down to the, the consumables I'm using. They're obviously taking a certain amount away, and then obviously it gets timed, because the top op... Um, the, the one with the present next to it you can't change is a times two silver. And then there's the other times two silvers. And you need something with a little bit of armor because one of the, the sort of uh, specifications for it is to basically um, block a thousand damage. And the other one, this is the reason why you need to be spotting everything so you want coated optics on, preferably, or something with a good view range anyway, um, and just keep ahead, is that you have, to, you have to spot a certain amount of tanks. I think it's ten. And that's it basically, you just drive around as fast as you can, stopping to, to kill anything you come up against before your teammates can get any shots in, and if you can do as much damage as you can. And uh, it's normally anything from about 9,500 upwards. We'll get you a couple of hundred K quite easily. Now, before everyone starts uh, shouting uh, at me for sort of doing this video and possibly highlighting this to Wargaming, that it's an open secret basically you know this is not something that only I know or anything like that this is kind of an open secret Wargaming are aware of it and uh, I've been told that it, it could get fixed soon-ish um, but having said that I have been sort of putting points across and sort of championing for leaving it alone basically um, and my point being that it's not hurting anybody it can only be done once a day, so it's not as though it takes away from the random uh, random battle player base. And, uh, you know, it'd just be nice to be left in for the players. You know, <laughs> as, a, as a little trick. But like I say, just once a day you can do this. Now this one, I did mess up a little bit. I kept getting tracked at one point, like I say, a couple of KV-2s. And they don't really do any damage to me, but they kept me tracked. So, uh, but you'll get the gist of it. Now... From what I've been reading as well, um, 
what some people instead of putting all of those ops on for this they'll basically come into it with um, one of them on maybe the the first I can't you know I can't even think what it's called but just the one that you have to have on and maybe one of the uh, the XP ops and they'll come into it and do it and they might get 120,000 something like that 110,000 then they'll do it again with a, another silver earning up on and, a, and you know and a, another XP won't get a bit more and if you do it that way and you've got the patience to do it sort of three or four times in a row you can earn three four hundred thousand over those four rounds if you just stick uh, both of the silver earning ops on that you can you've obviously like I say, this has to be the first thing that you do because if it's not, you'll lose uh, the op that you can't take on or off. Uh, but if you come in with all those ops on, then you know you can earn two hundred and fifty thousand. You know, two hundred well, two to two fifty thousand roughly um, for well about thirteen minutes of not even that twelve thirteen minutes of gameplay. And that's about it, really. It doesn't help when you start playing like an absolute muppet, like I do occasionally, and I have done in this one. I have put another results screen at the end. I'm showing you one that I did yesterday, um, just to show you. But it, it's got to be a tier eight premium because they have a good money earning potential. Type 59 has a 57% bonus. Uh, the Centennial and I think the T90, uh, obviously the Chieftain T95. I think theirs is 55, so that's a decent one to do it. Plus, it's got a good rate of fire and everything else. T9 to 5 E2 is quite good to do it in. Um, you've got to be a bit more careful with the armour sometimes on that one, but it's got good dispersion values and a decent rate of fire again, and carries quite a bit of ammo. Uh, the FCM 50T or the, or the Liberté version again carries a lot of ammo. And uh, things like Edelweiss, Nameless, you know, a lot of these sort of tier 8s that are quicker, they've got a bit of armour to them, etc. Um, but the main trick to it, which I haven't done here, like I said, is to take off. Uh, your premium consumables. Uh, one tip I've seen is to put two repair kits on, two small repair kits and one medikit and just leave it at that. And uh, the other one is obviously to replace all your ammo just with your standard armor piece and ammo which I didn't so I've now got to make a dash for the uh, for the ammo refill. Um, you, you don't want to be firing any premium ammo and that's basically my mistake that I've made. So now to make a dash for that to get back and stay ahead of the team but staying ahead of the AI is the most important bit and if you can do that and obviously not fight your premium ammo you'll come out of this you know with, with quite a healthy amount of uh, of silver and a decent amount of xp as well so it's not bad and like i say you can only do it once a day but it's a nice sort of silver injection and it's something that i, I just thought i'd highlight to people that haven't seen this on the forums or haven't seen people going on about this on twitter and um I'd say, you know, maybe the first day, do what I've done, you know, well, take the consumable off and sort the ammo out, but put the ops on that I've put on, so, you know, put those three ops on, have a run in it next day, maybe try it the different way, um, and do it with just a couple of the ops on, and so, you know, and do it a th two or three times instead, and, and see which you prefer, see which works out best for you, but it's all about getting the kills and the damage done yourself. You want to try not to let your teammates do any of it. Now, I've tried various things, telling them to halt, telling them to pay attention to a different part of the map, to try and get them to bugger off somewhere. And uh, none of that seems to work, so just stay ahead of them, and that's why you want to be something sort of quickish. Um, I mean, most, you know, every time I've been in it so far, they've been in super pershings, which are very slow. So it's not as though you've got to have something, you know, superbly quick. But something with a bit of armour as well is advised, like I say. Um, just because occasionally, you know, if they do pen, they can damage your engine or your ammo rack. It, you know, it is RNG at the end of the day. And they might not pen very often, but when they do, it can happen. I've not had it happen yet. I've seen people saying that they have. So that's why something with a bit of armour. But I think with all the various earn ops that have been on, I think most of you should probably have a tier 8 premium. Um, at this point, you know, I'm not saying that, yeah, you should have one, but I'm just saying, you know, most of you probably should have one by now. Um, even if you can't afford to buy one because of all the earn ops they've done. And, uh, like I say, it's just a, a nice little jaunt. And it, it's something I'm probably going to get into the habit of doing. Of just when I first go on this each day, go into here, do the. Uh, oh no, he did stop when I told him to. Huh. Normally they don't. Um. 
yeah, just get into habit. When I first put the game on, just jump into proving grounds, go on to Island Race, do this. You know, it's a nice quarter of a million or whatever. Um, just a little boost to my silver before I even get started. Mine has dwindled slightly recently because I've not been selling things. I've been keeping them and buying new ones. So, yeah, my, uh, my silver is a little bit depleted. But it's uh, a nice little trick. And like I say, you know, Wargaming are aware of this. Um, I've sort of been having a word about it earlier. And, you know, it's due to get fixed at some point. Or, it, you know, it may get fixed at some point. Um, so, take advantage of it for now. Uh, like I say, I am sort of, you know, I have been sort of putting my points across as to why I think it should just be left alone. So, hopefully, it may get left alone. Fingers crossed, anyway. Like I say, I could understand if you could just keep doing it. You know, you could just do it, repeat, 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 you know, for, for as long as you wanted in a day. That's going to take away from multiplayer player base, you know, the random battle player base, which is going to affect the game. But the fact that it, it can only be done once a day um, because the ops are not repeatable. Well, I say once a day. When you've done it once, you can jump in again. Uh, one of the ops is repeatable twice a day. Uh, one of the times twos, and obviously there will be another XP op because you can only have three on uh, once, not including the ones that you can't sort of activate or deactivate. But your second time through, you'll only earn maybe 100,000, something like that. But then again, that's still a decent earning. Um, some premium tanks will earn a bit less than others simply because, you know, they've got different earning bonuses. Now, the other thing here as well, don't do what I just did then and go across the water. Once you've dispatched those two, cut straight back down the island, the other side of the bridge, and go straight for the location of the tier 8. They're always in the same place, these tanks. The tanks themselves change, but the placement doesn't. So they, will, they are always in the same place. So either, you know, watch this and just learn where they're going to be, or try and remember where they are each time. And then you're prepared, you're already aiming in their direction, you know where they're going to come from or where they're going to be sat. But like I say, the whole idea is to stay ahead of the uh, of your team. You've got to try and stay ahead of them and kill everything, and spot everything and kill everything before it gets there. So I would recommend uh, that you've got coated optics on, um, situational awareness possibly as well, just to make sure that you outspot. It's not necessary, um, but it, it just helps you sort of outspot. Uh, but like I say, this is a bit of an open secret, and more gaming are aware of this, so it's not like... I've just brought it really to their attention, you know, don't think I'm that arrogant or anything like that, but yeah, just take advantage of it while it's here, and fingers crossed it may get left in. But there you go. Now, like I say, don't make the same mistake I did, load up your ammo. Um, the Liberté and the Centennial are good for this because they, they've got a good ammo count as well, they carry a lot of ammunition, but as you can see there, a bit of quick work, and uh, 240,000 credits just over 2,000 uh, XP, so quite happy with that for a, a bit of a quick jaunt in Proving Grounds. Not really, uh, you know, it's not something you need to break a sweat over, but like I say, a couple of things to remember, it's got to be a Tier 8 Premium. Um, it's got to be quickish, uh, with a good reload rate of fire as well. Uh, well, both the same, good rate of fire and aim time and, and cheap ammunition. Um, the cheaper, the better, but obviously something like I say uh, the tanks are recommended but you know go in whatever tier 8 you've got tier 8 premium you've got and I've just put that on there to show that actually you know you only earn like 40 odd thousand XP but it's the ops that give all the times to it because they sort of stack so you've got like three times two ops on there so it's essentially a times six um, but it's it's just like I say it's just a nice little injection of, of silver um, you know, you add that up, 250,000 over four days is a million, you know. So it does soon add up. And uh, like I said, I've just left this on so you can just see how it sort of breaks down as to what the ops earn, etc. And the supplies. I did make the mistake of having to use some premium ammo there, so I would have got a lot more from that if I hadn't have used the ammo and I'd, I'd have taken that bloody uh, premium food item off. This is the one from yesterday, just for you to have a look at as well. But anyway, there you go. I hope you've enjoyed that. I hope you find it useful. Um... Have a great weekend, and uh, I shall be back Sunday with another video for you. So until then, take care of there, and I'll catch you next time. See you later.